Okay, let's give you guys some practice now. So um, use trigonometric substitution to integrate this. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do this, your, your eyes should zoom into this complicated square root bit and then somehow create a triangle in such a way that uh, in such a way that uh, this is true. So if you make this, um, if you make uh, if you make this to be three, and then if you make this to be x, then uh, then this then the adjacent has no choice but to be nine take away x squared. Okay. So so uh, so to integrate this, create your triangle. <coughs> so hang on. So to integrate this, create your triangle in such a way that this is true. So once you've got your triangle, then uh, then you can jump to here. So uh, so sine sine would be uh, would be opposite over hypotenuse. Sine would be opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite over hypotenuse. So um, so now make x a subject. So x equals this thing here. I differentiate it. So dx equals this thing here. Later on we can put it into here. Okay. And then uh, and then on a separate occasion. Now uh, now let's look at this. Um, if you if you look at this, cos cos is adjacent over hypotenuse. Cos is adjacent over hypotenuse. Times both sides by three. That will then give you this. Notice that this is is exactly the same as this. So we can now put this into into here. We can uh, we can put the dx into uh, into here. And then looking at this, x squared, well let's look back to this. X squared, if this is x, then x squared, x squared would be uh, 9 sine squared theta. So you can put this into the x squared. So this whole thing here will become this, will become this, and then tidy it up, um, uh, somehow tidy up, and then it will give you this. Okay, and, and this by the way is, uh, is cot, um, is cotangent. Because, um, because cos, uh, well, th this here, another way of visualizing this is, uh, uh, cot, uh, of theta. Okay, so just, just bear that in mind. So we now need to integrate this. So, um, so this thing here is, uh, is, is also this. Okay, so now, um, it, it, hang on, let me think. Um, so this thing here, um, you, you, you can change this. You can change this. So, so from this, you can divide both sides by pound. So uh, we've seen this before. So maybe get a scrap piece of paper and, and write this down. Um, from, from, from this, you can divide both sides by sine squared theta. So divide this by sine squared theta. Divide this by sine squared theta. Divide this by sine squared theta. So, uh, so that will then give you this. And, uh, and and this, by the way, is cot squared, um, and this is your your cosecant squared. Um, we've seen this before, and also from this, you can divide both sides by cos squared theta, divided by cos squared theta, divided by cos squared theta. Then that will then give you this. So um, so. Try, try to somehow memorize this because you can jump back and forth. If you have cot squared, you can jump to this. If you have this, you can jump to that. If you have that, you can jump to this and so on. You can jump back and forth. So try to, um, try to write this down somewhere or memorize it. Okay? So we are currently here at the moment. Cot squared. Well, cot squared would be this. Cot squared would be this. So you, we can take away one from both sides. And then put this into into here in, into here. Okay, so so this thing here would then become this. This thing here would become this. Now integrate this from the previous video. We um, in the previous video we've seen that if you if you integrate this, it would then give you uh, it, it would then give you this thing here. Okay, well in the previous video we we can jump from here to here. Okay, so so this is our uh, our answer, but we don't want the answer in terms of theta. We want it in terms of x. So going back to the very start, so so this is our is our answer, but we don't want the answer in terms of theta. We need to translate it back into x. Well, in, in when we first started, we created a triangle. We said let sine theta be this, 
and blah 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 let cos theta be this well if this bit here we, we can replace theta with well you can inverse this you can inverse sign uh so theta is is theta is theta is looking at this thing here is inverse sine of x over three or you can use this if you want to inverse cos this but this this is messy so we would rather use this it's neater and then uh, you we uh, we want to translate this uh, cotangent of theta well cotangent would be this so uh, so cotangent the cotangent co uh, cotangent of theta equals the adjacent the adjacent nine minus x squared divided by divided by the opposite which would be x so cotangent well we can we can now replace this put it into here so that so uh, so this this whole thing here will become this will become this so this is your final answer okay